Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariluz and today I'm beyond excited because I want to start this series with you guys. I've had this idea for a while in my head and I feel like I'm ready to execute it and I want to tell you everything about it. The series is going to be called Use Them All. It's like a challenge mostly, but we're going to start calling it UTA for short because I feel like it'll be the more simplest way to name it. And also, it will be like our little secret language, I guess. So I'm pretty sure you have a few questions, so I want to explain what UTA is all about. Basically, if you're like a makeup guru, beauty blogger, makeup addict, junkie, or whatever you want to call yourself, you know you're going to buy a eyeshadow palette and sometimes you don't tend to use all of the shades so you tend to use a few shades of them and then leaving the other ones untouched i feel like it's a struggle that we you know beauty bloggers go through a lot of times but in this series i am up for the challenge and i want to create different makeup looks or makeup tutorials mostly until i use them all anyways today i wanted to start this series with this dream street palette this is the palette with ColourPop in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. And I decided to use this palette because it was the last palette I've acquired in my collection, but also because it's so natural and so simple to use. I feel like I'm able to create a lot of makeup looks with this palette and the challenge won't be that hard, at least with this one. <laughs> now, if you're interested in how this will end, just keep on watching. If you stay for that long intro, you are the real MVP. I love you. Okay guys, so now I'm ready to prime the eyes and I'm going to use my one and only my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm going to apply that all over the lid. I haven't used this in a while because I've been using concealer lately and you can use concealer but I, you know, I'm just feeling it today so I'm going to use the paint pot. I'm like, kind of tapping it because my eyelids burn, honestly. I think I made a mistake last night on my acne medication and I applied, um, what's it called? Benzoyl peroxide in my eyelids, I think. I think there was just some residue on my hand before I applied my moisturizer and they burn a lot. And I tried to moisturize them this morning or before this video and they burned. So I'm doing my best not to hurt them that much and be very gentle. But also I want to make sure that it's not too dry for this eye makeup look because it won't look that great. Okay, so now I want to set that with a little bit of my RCMA No Curl Powder. Okay guys, so I did my best but the reality is that my eyelids are really dry today. So I'm going to be very gentle and try my best to create a seamless makeup look. So to start this makeup tutorial, I'm going to start with the shade called Magical. It's this like really light orange soda color. I'm going to take it with a Sigma E40. It's like a crease brush. And I'm going to take a lot of it and I'm going to apply it on my crease. I want to have this color really blown out. And I'm going to be very gentle because my eyelids hurt, honestly. But mostly, um, I'm going to build it. I don't know if you can tell, but... It barely shows up on my skin. I am medium skin tone and it barely shows. So I'm going to build it up a bunch. So this is going to take me at least, I'm going to say like two minutes until it builds to the color that I wanted to show. Okay, so I feel like it's been a minute now. And as you can see, it's starting to build up or it's starting, it's starting to show up on my crease. But honestly, I want more. Okay, so I feel like that's about okay. If you can tell, I have it really blown out up to here because I want to create like a gradient effect down onto the crease. So it has to be really blown out. So for the next color, I'm going to pick Potion. It's like a terracotta orange right over here. And I'm going to pick the same brush, the E40. Tap the excess a little bit because I'm going to build it up and then place it on the crease as well but just a little lower. The most important part is for you to blend well between the edges because that's how it will look the best in my opinion. Okay, so that's as intense as I want it to be. Now I'm going to move on with the next color and the next color, next color is called Spark. This is a little pretty kind of pink right in the corner. I'm going to pick the same brush guys and I'm going to dip on it and place it on the crease as well. Now I'm going to keep it a little bit lower and I'm going I'm not going to build it like I did with the previous colors. This is just like something that I want to place just to give it a oomph, I guess, because it'll all come together once I place the other colors. So I don't know if you if you 
catch my idea here, but it kind of created like a sunset effect. Not super, super noticeable, but sort of, right? Now I'm going to take this color here, which is one of my favorites in the palette. If you saw my Ulta unboxing, you will know that. But it's called Water Bearer. I feel like this color took the internet by storm because everyone did want to create a look with this color. And I'm going to create it too, but I'm going to mix it up with the other colors. So I'm going to take a Sigma E20. It's a short shader brush. And I'm going to place it on my lid. I'm going to take the edge of this brush and I'm going to go over that line. I'm going to take this little brush that I have here, it's the E47, it's a shader crease brush. And I'm going to take the color spark again, this little pink here. And I'm going to dip it on the brush and I'm going to go over those edges. I want to blend well before I go with the next color. When I first started this makeup look, I was practicing before I made the video. And for some reason, this look reminds me of a brand. I don't know. It's I don't know which type of brand it is, but I have the kind of like the colors in my head. So if if this you know if this makeup look reminds you of a brand that has these similar colors, just tag them in the in the comments. Let me know in the comments because I can't find it. It's burning my brain. Okay, so once I do that, I kind of want to start. With the brown first before I go with the color that I do want to put in. I'm going to take this shade here, this shade right here called Elfish, it's the brown, the brown in the palette, and I'm going to place it in the corners because I want a little dip. Barely shows up, but I feel like if I don't do it, it's not the same, honestly. Okay, so now I'm going to use Mermaid Boy. I have this shade in other palettes, but honestly, I feel like this one is more wearable. Or maybe because I combine it with this green. I just don't like it to use it alone, honestly. So I'm going to just swirl it with my fingers because that's the best way in my opinion. And I'm going to tap it over that green. Alright, I guess that's about it. Now, you know, just give it a little more details like intensify that brownish at the end and if you want you can go ahead and put a little bit more of that spark that pink color on top make sure everything is all well blended okay so now i'm going to do this other eye finish up my makeup and i'll be back with um the lower lash line okay guys so before i continue with my lower lash line i'm going to line my waterline with this uh, revlon photo ready gel eyeliner it's in black now i'm going to take the shade spark and with my sigma e30 it's a pencil brush i'm going to put that all over my lower lash line and then with the same pencil brush i'm going to take the shade potion and uh, blend that at the bottom now i'm taking a clean sigma e25 yep this one right over here <laughs> and i'm going to um, I'm going to take this shade over here and I'm going to blend that out and once that's blended I'm going to take the darker brown shade it's called Elfish with a flat definer this is the Sigma E15 right over here like that I'm going to place that in really close to my waterline and there you go now I want to highlight my inner tear duct and my brow bone over here so for that I'm going to take the shade Mooney I just realized I took the wrong pencil brush because I always have one for my lower lash, for lower lash line and one for my highlight, but I took the wrong color, I mean the wrong pencil, so let's go with it. I'm going to take Mooney and I'm going to place it in the inner tear duct. It's okay, still didn't mess up the color. And then I'm going to highlight my brow bone over here. To finish up the look, I put some mascara on my bottom lashes and we are done.
guys honestly i feel so different i feel like a whole new person when i do my makeup it's like i transform <laughs> now i think we did a really great progress with this palette so far we have used seven shades out of 12 so we only have a couple more to go um i'm thinking i can finish this palette in about two or three more looks because the more shimmer shadows they it has the like the more complicated it gets when you're creating an eye look i'm pretty sure we're going to repeat a few colors but as long as we made progress and we end up using all 12 shades i feel like it'll be fine so i do want to hear your opinion so leave it in the comments section below let's make a discussion do you like this series do you think where it's going um is there anything that you want me to do specifically and leave me some feedback i would like to hear you now if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i would love you to follow this series and you know don't miss anything thank you so much for watching guys i love you so much and i'll see you on my next video bye